What's going on, everybody? Chapter 73, back with the Double E Show! It's Banished Wednesday with the Colonial Charter 1.7 Journey. When we left off the last time, we were, uh, we were building these log cabins. We were getting people into homes. Uh, we were, we cleared out the, we were set to demolish the buildings that were along the, the main road coming from the settlement to the town. Um, we laid down some roadage. Um, so we can see how it looks when it gets laid out. Uh, we're going to close that out there. Uh, I know we were going to look and see if the, um, the, the soul miner will ever find love. And we'll check on that shortly. Uh, in a moment. Uh, let's unpause so these people can start working here. What speed are we playing on? Times five. That's a good speed for me. Um, I got a couple of suggestions. They'd like the red brick. We are going to put red brick in. So let's uh, let's actually get in here, get rid of these tiles, and uh, I'm going to lay red brick down, even though we don't have red brick yet. And then when we do get to the point where we start making bricks, they'll start uh, filling it in. And also. It means that nothing will grow in these spots. This is so much fun. I love this part of it. I forgot about the uh, the, the tiles. All right, so let's go into roads here, and let's go to red brick right here. And we're just going to put red brick in there, and red brick to there. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to go red brick. Uh, wait a minute, let me just make sure... These aren't these are moss squares. Okay, let's take them out first. Yep. Try not to skip any. I would have thought I would have just laid moss road down, but then again I used the squares so you could instantly see the coloration. Yep. And there and then come back in here and we're going to go red brick road right up through here and right up through there and that should get rid of that tree and then we're going to come up to this side over here and for these tiles as well they were I was really surprised that people didn't like the key the, the key looked good to me but uh, yeah no I, I do like the red brick idea so we're going to go with that and that's what yeah yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Red brick, right here, there, and there. Okay, now, oh, we got a trader. All right, please be seeds, please be seeds, please be seeds. Apple seeds, nice. Uh, they're 5,000 a piece. I think that's because I ordered them, right? Oh, maybe not. Okay, well... Storage is near capacity. Okay, got that. Uh, 5,000. Do we have enough to get 5,000? We can get 2,000 in logs and 4,000 in firewood. So we, we could get apple seeds. And I think we will. God. 5,000. Okay, how are we doing on firewood? We're doing fine on logs. So let's do the 2,000 logs. Um, excuse me. Let's do the 1,000 logs. That'll give me 2,000. And then firewood. Firewood, let's do... Uh, is it 250? That'll give me 3,000. And then if I do um, 8 of those, that's 5,000. Trade, dismiss. We have apple trees. Okay. Now, coming down this way. Is that an orchard? Apple trees. And we've got enough people to work them, so we're going to put one person in there. And over here, we're going to put one person in there. Nice, right? Oh, wait a minute. Got it. Got to select it as apples. There you go. Right. One and one. Come on. Figure it out. You know where you belong. 
And I think it was Kendi had mentioned that she thought apple trees would look good in here as well. But I want to have sitting area um, with the benches, like I have here. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, storage is near capacity. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Um, we do have a very full area of log storage. Okay. Um, and what is that there? That's a small barn, almost complete. There you go. They're in. Awesome. Let's go over to that. That is right there. Excellent. Boom. This is the forester log new trees. This is the gatherer's hut. Nice. Nice, nice. And then I think over here I've got an edibles lean-to. I do, and I've got a mini hunter. And they're bringing in stuffs. Okay. So the small barn is right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I wanted to take a look here while I was here. So I've got the covered bridge slated to go in. Um, where are you? You're right here. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to delete the covered bridge. I'm going to come land flattening. Two, three. Right. Okay. And then we're going to remove that and that. Then I'm going to spin around. We're going to come straight across over to here. Okay. Yep. Okay. That works. Now, if I come back over here, and I go, uh, where's covered bridge? Now if I do it, it will, it will be very even. Um, I won't have to worry about the, the road being wonky on either side of the, the river. There you go. The storage barn is in. Nice. Okay, so we, we're running out of space to store logs. So let's come, uh, let's go down here. And let's look at adding more log storage uh, down this end. So, uh, right here, logs, two by four, that'll work. And uh, let's do two by three, yep, two by three right there, that'll work. And we'll just dot in some log storage over here. Yeah. Um, yeah, because they're not going to stop. Uh, they're not going to stop doing storage. So let's. Uh, while we're down this end, we're getting a little draggy, draggy. Did you find love? No love. I'm so sorry, Cassimian. I wish I could find love for you. Uh, actually, let's take a quick peek right here. Uh, overview. Forty-seven families. 39 homes. That means we can actually unpause this home and where are you? Over here. Okay. And this home. Unpause you too and go to town. So the covered bridge, salt box house, right on. Dock trading post. It's going in over here. Where, where are you? Okay. Highlight ya. There it is. Okay, there's the highlight. Okay. That'll be going in. Very nice. Uh, where'd we put this storage barn? Oh, yeah. I remember now. Yeah. Okay, we'll put you here. One room schoolhouse. You're going in over here. And that, when, when it's done, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll upgrade it when we have the ability to. Okay, so back down here to Z. Uh, we're going to come over. We're going to pause it. We're going to come over here. 
and unpause and I put all these in as soil roads and I meant to do them as the um, country roads so yeah I, I can't even do that I have to actually take the roads out is that remove roads yep remove roads like that like that like that oh what a waste of time what a waste of time for them folks but we'll come back over and we'll uh we'll definitely i'm gonna put some apples in there and i'll put one person working on that yeah we'll come back over and we'll, we'll get that fixed okay let's go back to town now uh, it's winter time the trees are coming down did i use ghost benches i believe i did um let's take a quick peek because i put them on grass uh where's my is this the town decorations and wood benches and stone benches so R F variant uh, like that and then whoops let's get a little closer down here corner one F variant like that and then rotate it around F variant like that, and then come down, and then one in, F variant like that, very nice, very nice, and then in here we'll do F variant, F variant, and this will be F variant, and F variant, there we go, right on, right on, we did use a couple of tiles here to make the roads match up, so we can probably just go ahead and remove them now. Yep, I forgot about the tiles on those pieces. That was just to make the uh, the sample roads blend in better. And lastly, down here. Yeah, and there were a couple areas when when I was going back through. There were a couple areas I saw that I needed to uh, to make holes in the road, like um, here we go, Moss Road uh, should come down here, and Stone Road like that. Yeah, and then I wanted Mossy Road across the front that and that and then mossy road coming down like this and it's gonna be all mossy road on these little one tile wide back roads like that yep actually that'll go straight across and uh, we got stone road that'll come down this way and we'll do mossy road in there like that and right down to the bridge and off the side road like that yep yep this is not gonna be the roads episode I promise you <laughs> I'm only doing this this is all I'm gonna do and then we're gonna then we're gonna actually come over here we're gonna zoom out a little bit now pause we'll come over here we'll see how they're clearing out over here uh, they're doing a pretty good job over here this isn't looking too bad uh, it's taking them some time to get this stuff demolished um, yeah but it's getting there the lean to needs to be demolished that lean to needs to be demolished I'm not sure is that just a tree coming in that is just a tree coming in cellar needs to be demolished yep yeah so we got some miscellany that needs to come out. Uh, many hunters still set to be demolished. Um, you know what? Why don't we up our builders to nine? Nine builders, nine laborers. That'll work. That'll work, right? I think that'll work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, actually, let's take a quick peek here. I keep hitting the caps lock button. Um, 49 families, 39 homes. Alright, so we can come over here. That small lean-to. 
that can be unpaused and then come around over here to this lean to and that can be unpaused we want to promote growth uh, looks like we're doing okay on food. We're certainly doing okay on tools. We're doing okay on clothing, which I'm really surprised about. I've got this one tailor working down here, and they're making wool coats, and they've hit the limit. So if I, whoops, if I go to 500, if I go to 500, how much wool do I have? Inventory. Ooh, I've got 434 wool. So why don't I actually take this and up this to 750 right we'll get a surplus of coats and then and then he said um, I can um, put them in the, the the dock trading post still nobody for you well you must you must have some problem I, I, I can't even fathom <laughs> Oh boy, do I have tasks set for them to do. Alright, so that material stockpile, that still hasn't gone in. Um, the second rustic abode, the storage barn, uh, dock trading post hasn't even been touched. How are we doing finding uh, driftwood? Oh, nobody's working it. Well, that that is a problem. Um, we want them finding logs. Uh, we want them finding firewood. There we go. Put somebody to work in there. Whoop. Turn it on. Alright. Yeah, there you go. You'll figure it out. And again, that's the small dark market. And that's 70% full with just its one worker. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking good. Our storage, though, is probably going to start becoming an issue, I would imagine, right? I don't know. No, storage is okay. Alright. I take it back. I take it back. Yeah. Alright, so where do I have... There's a well coming out this way. Where did I put that uh, wild things gatherer? Not the wild things gatherer, the, sh the shepherd. Is this the shepherd? The wild shepherd. Nine last season, one this season so far. Rock on. I wish I could put two people in there. Uh, dry goods limit. We're going to go up to 4,000, 4, excuse me. Um, in fact, let's make the materials up to 4,000 as well. Yeah? Food set to 30,000. We're gonna... Yep, we're gonna do it the faster way. We're gonna go to 35,000 on food. Yeah, health is looking good. Yeah, every, everything is looking good right now. Everything is looking good right now. Knock on wood. No issues. Everything is looking good. And this is the apple forester. And what do we got going on here? They're doing logs. They found some domesticated animals. This gatherer will not gather the apples that they plant until it, uh, I turned it into a regular gatherer. Um, ooh, wow, yeah, we could stand to put another house in out here. I put in a small barn. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, log cabin. This one? This one. Okay. So let's rotate it. And we'll put it right beside. Yeah. Yep. They'll just, we'll let them build that. I don't really need to monitor that. This comes up over here. And this is almost clear now. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not going to bother putting in the, uh, the soil roads because I'm just going to end up covering them up again anyways. But I know that this is three wide, and we know that to be true. Zero storage remaining. Zero storage remaining. Zero storage remaining. Trader, please be seeds. Please be seeds. Please be seeds. Bean seeds and red mulberry seeds. Let's get us some beans, folks. So we're going to go one bean seed, because we need food diversity. So, uh, 2,500, huh? Why don't we go 250 on the firewood? Um, 500 on that. Mm, you know what? We'll just go, I believe, 750 should do. 750, 2500, trade, 
Dismiss. We're a farming community. Woohoohoo! I'll take it. So the second rustic abode went in. Over in the mines. Alright, so let's go here and we're gonna go beans. 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 And we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Right? We're gonna back the builders off by two. Yep, there you go. They're they're working. Now the dock trader is getting fleshed out. This is awesome. All right. I think we're going to call this an episode there. We've got apples. We've got beans. We're, we're growing. We're growing the way that we need to grow. If you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions as to what we should be doing here in Dublaton, put them in the comments below. I do read them. And with that, I will catch you tomorrow for another episode of Burnish with the Colonial Charter 1.7 Journey. Peace. That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.